Hello, Cancer, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach, and I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. Today, I have an intuitive message for you about your journey, so let's get started. Okay, Ace of Feathers, inspiration for you. Card representing you this week. Beneficial energy, a little bit odd. Ten of burdens, <laughs> I mean ten of feathers. Burdens, so inspiration burdens. Okay, and energy pulling you back, apathy. Okay, Cancer. Now I'll give you the short answer and then we'll really go into the longer, uh, deeper meaning. This reading is talking about feeling that sense of being inspired, wanting to start something new, feeling fired up. Creativity is very much a factor in this, or even just having a new idea. Like, okay, this is really cool. I want to put this into motion. Now, what is going to help you is believing in your idea, believing in this new direction that you want to go, having faith in it, and knowing that you're not grabbing at something that's out of your grasp. <laughs> great sentence. You're not reaching for something that you can't hold. This ten of feathers reminds you that you have the strength to get there. But what I feel is likely to happen is that there might be some emotional discouragement because it seems difficult or it seems hard. It, or it just seems like, again, a burden you don't want to carry. However, when this inspiration comes from your higher self, when it comes from spirit, it comes to you at this time for a reason. And it is to your, it's always to your benefit to follow that. So the question is, well, how do I know if it came from spirit or if it just came from my mind? And the answer is a little different depending on your makeup. But generally speaking, you will get multiple signs that it's the right time, you know. Synchronicities will start to happen for you. Um, you know, I'm sure you've experienced them. I don't need to explain what a synchronicity is, I don't think, but if you haven't, please reach out in the comments below and I'll, I'll clarify this for you. So let's assume that you know you've gotten the right idea, you've got the synchronicities, you've, you've had the indications, and you're feeling really fired up about this. This is not going to be maybe the smoothest sailing idea or maybe the smoothest sailing process, but it is going to culminate. It is going to work and it is going to be um, transformational for you. I think what also is getting in your way, Cancer, is the, the feeling of the moment versus the the final destination okay it's very easy to get lost and well this feels hard right now so i'm just going to give up rather than well the mountains up there i'm going to keep going i'm going to reach the top no matter what i don't care if it's hard this is asking you to be a lot more fiery than it is asking you to be watery cancer this is about belief and all that fire energy which has to do with prophecy and forward motion and um, and warmth and courage and drive. So if you need to channel the sun a bit more, if you need to work with candles with a flame a bit more to get yourself going, get yourself moving because I understand that this may be going against your innate tendency, which is, well, if it feels good, I'm going to keep doing it. If it doesn't feel good, I'm going to stop doing it. There's something else going on here. There's something else that the universe is trying to open up for you, but the universe has to know that you're committed. It has to know that you really want it because if you don't show it that you're committed and that you want it, it's going to stop. All right. But it's something really good. It's really an awesome new creative thing, <laughs> for lack of a better word, okay? This is all very good. 
so you know universe just wants a little dialogue with you let's continue your message a little bit more three of swords and death <laughs> death and mourning very interesting sequence but actually it's mourning and death Remember how I said transformation before? This experience for you of giving birth to this idea, concept, project, relationship, giving birth to this and seeing it through to its culmination, this is going to be deeply transformative and deeply evolutionary for you, getting you to your next higher level, okay? What we need to be aware of is that part of this apathy is coming from past losses, the three of swords, not letting go of either projects that didn't work out or people or things or, or resources that were lost because of past attempts. This is different. This energy coming in for you right now is different. If you have received the synchronicities and you're sure this is the direction, this time is different, okay? So there's nothing to be, there. <laughs> these cards are saying there's no reason to hold back. There's no reason to, to um, prevent yourself from going this direction. This is a safe direction. I also want to bring up the Three of Swords in other decks. It's not necessarily mourning, but it's self-sabotage or self-betrayal. Okay, so in not honoring this direction that your soul is showing you and that you yourself are feeling very excited about, there's a sense that there's part of you that wants to how do I say this? I'm just going to have to say it bluntly. Wants to self-sabotage. Okay, so part of what this is, where'd she go? Where'd he go? This apathy is actually self-created. Okay, the situation is not any harder or easier, but because you're afraid of getting burned again, or you're afraid of yourself not feeling great or suffering, you're creating reasons why not to and why not to and why I shouldn't. And that turns into apathy. Okay, but don't shy away from this doorway. This is a big transformation opportunity for you. This is a, a new way forward of opening up for you. If you will follow the seed, all right, seed to the growth. Okay, Cancer, I think that'll do it for us this week. I want to thank you so much for joining me and for sharing your time and energy. And did you know that I offer free consultations for those wanting to go deeper on the spiritual path? If you've been kind of thinking about it, but you're not sure and you want a little bit more guidance, this consultation gives you a little taste of what it would be like to work with me and also kind of shows you what direction we would take. So it gives you a real sense of if this is right for you or even if it's the right time. So if you've been considering it, just kind of keep that in mind. There is a link in the description below, or you can also directly visit soulguidancewithadriana.com. I'll look forward to seeing you next time and have a good one, Cancer.